Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to this Mixed Temple Pro introduction for Studio One 5 and also Studio One 4. I'm just going to walk you through some of the functions of Mixed Temple Pro and show you why this is such a great workflow tool. So here at Mixed by Mark Mozart, we have done countless audio projects throughout the years. And what we figured out is that more important than pretty much anything else is having a consistent workflow that is organized. So you can make quick decisions and you aren't held up with just trying to organize your session or getting lost in lots of tracks. So with that, what we give to you is a template, a channel strip library, and the plugin Halls of Fame. All right, so here we are in Studio One 5. Now, like I said before, this also works in Studio One 4. Some of the plugins haven't been updated. There was just an update for Studio One 5. So it might look a little bit different here and there, but it essentially has all the same functions. So what I have here is a session for a beat. I'm mixing a hip hop beat. So that's why you don't see any vocals here yet. So it's just pretty much drums, bass, and guitar. And that's where you can see the first um, big advantage of Mix Temple Pro compared to just building um, a session from zero every time you open up Studio One. So what you have here, for example, is you have a kick drum bus. So let's say um, I have two different kick drums instead of just one. So you have two kick audio tracks right here. They get summed into this kick bus. So when you solo the kick bus, you actually solo both kick one and kick two. The same for the snare, snare bus, snare one, snare two. We actually have two different snare drums. I think one is like uh, a clap, the other one is a snare. So that's why I put them here and it just goes on like that. Here we have a percussion loop. So that's why it's on the loop track here, the hats and so on, so on. Now, like I said before, you never want to get lost in a session. So that's why we have prepared all these audio tracks and markers and an arranger track up here. Now, I'm on a laptop, so I can't show you right now. But if you have a number pad um, on your computer, you can really quickly jump in between those song parts. Now, something else that we have already set up are parallel buses. So, for example, if we look at the mixer you see that you already have a mono and a stereo parallel bus for your drums. Like I said, that's already there. So you can see we're already sending um, the kicks and the snare to the mono bus and all of the drums to the stereo bus. So you can do some heavy drum treatment on this parallel bus and then just bring it in slightly. So that's already there, already set up, super simple, don't have to waste any time with that. Another thing that is already set up in the template is effect buses. So when we come back here, you can see that there's all these effects already set up, ready to go, that you can send to. Now, a little bit later, I will explain to you why there's a bus in front of all these effects. Uh, that is a special technique of ours that we've used for years and it has worked out great and people love it and back here we have our buses so let's say you want to treat all of the drums including the parallel compression differently than for example all of the vocals together well you can do that because you have a mix bus only for vocals a mix bus only for all the other instruments except for drums drums have another separate mix bus right here. You can do automation, you can do parallel processing, for example, side chaining a little bit of like the more mid rangey instruments like keyboards and guitars to the vocals. Um, you can do all of that stuff as super easy is right here. And then of course, we have a mix bus and then the master bus where you can do your master bus treatment, um, just like you're used to in Studio One. So that is the template. The next thing you are getting with your purchase is an effects library. This is really great. It saves a ton of time because you don't have to load up every plugin individually. So let's, for example, say I am right here on the kick. So you can see I have a mix tempo folder here. I go to drums, kick, and um, 
Let's see, I got some native instruments, uh, plugins on my computer. So I'm gonna try, you know what? Try British kick on a trap beat, why not? Might sound interesting. One click and I got all these native instrument plugins right here. Got a supercharger, solid EQ, and a transient master. And also what you have in front of that whole chain is a mix tool, which is basically a gainer plugin. It's a game plugin, gain knob, nothing fancy, and a phase invert. So if you're working on more natural sounds or something that is not as well produced as you would like, you have the mix tool right here with the gain knob for gain staging and a phase flip. Now let's get rid of that and say, you know what? I don't have any third party plugins. I just have the ones that come with Studio One. That's great too. So let's go to Mix Temple Pro again, drums. You have kick here and pre-sonas. Let's say classic kick. Sure, I want some classic kick. Again, gain plugin is a little bit too hot. Let's pull it back like 670B, something like that. Then we got a fat channel, which um, has a lot of great sounding uh, emulations in there. So for example, here we've used, I think the vintage EQ, that's right. And then the fat compressor. I've just showed you the kick right here, but for example, let's go to another instrument. Um, let's say you do have vocals on your track um, and you want lead vocal chorus, you want something really powerful. Again, Mix Temple Pro, you go to vocals, lead vocals, and let's try waves. Let's try a waves plugins chain. Let's do classic lead vocals, um, which has a little bit more attitude on there than, for example, the natural plugin chain you just saw. You know, you can go through all of these uh, vocal chains, and it's also lined out in our book, Your Mix Sucks, and it has all the elements on there that you need to get started mixing and not waste any time with just loading single plugins. Next up, we're gonna look at personally my favorite part of Mix Temple Pro, which is the effect bus system. You're probably used to just taking an instrument or a vocal and sending to one effect return channel. Well, say goodbye to that concept because what we do have here are effect buses, so. Let's take the lead vocal reverb in the verse. It's not just one reverb. For example, you would maybe use it in the verse something like a smaller room, not as big as in the choruses. And you do have that here, you have a chamber reverb, but you also have a plate reverb and a hall reverb. And these effects don't get their signal right from the source, which is the vocal track, but from this bus. You can see here on this bus, I'm sending to these effects that I just told you. Well, where's the signal coming from for this bus, you ask? Well, that's a very good question. And we can look here, lead vocal verse. Now we're not gonna send to all the single buses that we have down here, but we're gonna send to the lead vocal reverb verse bus. And let's say we're gonna send at around zero dB, zero dB, there we go. And now we have as a source here, the lead vocal verse. And what I can do now is have three different types of reverbs in this case, and kind of like mix and match depending on what flavor I want. So let's say, like I said before, I just want a little bit of a chamber reverb, wanna keep it pretty dry, maybe it's like a more natural sounding tune, a little bit of chamber reverb, that's it. Now you can do that with a single effects channel, but what would be pretty difficult or time consuming to do is, I want a little bit of a smaller room and I want a little bit of like a really big hall. So let's turn up the chamber reverb here and mix it just a little bit off the hall to give it more space. You can do that. Now let's say in the choruses, you really wanna turn it up and you got hall all the way up here we can turn down the chamber and we also want a really nice vocal plate. There you go, that's simple. All we have to do now is go to lead vocal chorus, select lead vocal reverb chorus, select our send level and that's it. You're sending to 
three different effects in a way because of this bus that is in between. Just gonna go through some of the other effects we have set up for you. The system stays the same, whether you do it for a keyboard or vocals. Um, but let's just go through it. So what we have here are some, again, for vocals, delays split up for verse and chorus again. Then we have a modulation bus that sends to a chorus and a phaser. And you have um, the personas, chorus, and phasers here because they sound great. Um, then you have a drum room, which, again, isn't just one effect. It's three different reverbs, um, a snare reverb, and an instrument effect bus. But we also have some single effects here. So let's say you want an eighth note delay for a bunch of different instruments and maybe also vocals. Sure, do a delay. You get some analog delay here. They just redid this. Looks great. Gonna switch this to an eighth note and now I can send to this delay effects channel. It's that simple. It saves so much time. It's always there, always set up. Nothing to worry about. So let's just jump back into Studio One Five and take a look at Halls of Fame. For example, right here on the lead vocal reverb verse, Hall in this case, we have loaded up a Lexicon 960 reverb. You can choose from all these great sounding presets and control them with all the controls you will ever need for your reverbs. Or for example, right here, we have a drum room reverb that in this case is an EMT 250. And again, EQ section right here, low, mid, high. Let's say you wanna get a little less boominess out of your reverb, really wanna push the mids for some classic sound, cut a little bit of the highs, damping, once again, call a little bit of the lows, push a little bit more highs, and push some mids right there. Get some pre-delay, want to give it a nice little pre-delay, that's no problem. And I want to really push the input, take back the output a little bit. You can do all of this very easily. Great presets, a lot to choose from, and again, right there in Mix Temple Pro, ready for you to use. So I hope you have gotten a good idea of what Mix Temple Pro is all about. It's a fantastic tool and I hope you have as much fun with it as we have here every day. Thanks for watching and all the information is down below.